Here's a pair of the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 earbuds. I'm going to show you how to pair and connect these directly to a Windows computer, PC, or laptop via Bluetooth. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Bluetooth settings on your Windows computer. You can simply just go down to where it says search there and just type in Bluetooth. Bluetooth and other devices under system settings. So we'll select on that. Just make sure you tap on Bluetooth and other devices. Make sure Bluetooth here is toggled on. And then we're going to tap up here on the plus sign where it says add Bluetooth other device. Let's select that. And we're going to select the first one up here where it says Bluetooth. Let's tap on that. Now you see this line that's going across the screen there. It's searching for devices that's in pairing mode and it'll show up down here, okay? So let's see if these are in pairing mode, okay? All we gotta do is the buds are in the case, just open it up. We don't know if it's in pairing mode unless it's gonna show up here. Let's see. It should show up by now. And mine's not showing up. The reason why it's not showing up is because I'm connected or paired to a, diff for a different device, one of my other phones. So for myself, I need to manually put these in pairing mode, okay? So I have the buds in the case, the lid's open, and below it there's a button here. I'm gonna press and hold that button. Ready, set, go. Press and hold and wait till I get three different light colors on here. Still holding. Green, blue, red. There we go, let go. Now it's back, now it's in pairing mode, okay? It's still searching here, that little line there. Let's see if it finds it. Sometimes you have to rescan it, just like turn, turn it off and then turn it back on, but it's still scanning. It did find the Galaxy Buds 3 right there to select that. Give it one second, and voila, we're paired and ready to go. And I'll click on done here, and then we should be able to see it. Oh, there it is. Galaxy Buzzy connected voice and music. So we're ready to go, all right? Now, if you had any kind of issues connecting or pairing, you can always factory reset these. If you need to do that, look in the link below in the description area.